always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Good morning, West Michigan. We are waking up to a quiet kickoff to this Friday, heading into the another July weekend, the middle of the month. And this will be our first weekend in a while. We've actually had the chance of seeing some active weather roll through. We'll see several dry hours each day, but we'll see at least the chance of a few showers and thunder showers later today, and then a better chance coming Saturday night into the day Sunday. Temperatures this morning, though, comfortable with the dry air in place. Readings in a lot of places have slipped down into the 50s. Today, we'll climb into the uh, low to mid 80s across most areas. The morning sunshine will give way to increasing cloudiness, and we'll see at least the potential for a few showers, perhaps even a few thunder showers developing. We'll see several dry hours today, several dry hours again for tomorrow. And then the next round of widespread showers and thunderstorms will come through later Saturday night into Sunday. So today, tomorrow, Sunday, high temps around are a touch above 80 degrees. Our lows this morning in the 50s, but as those lows drop into the 60s to near 70 degrees later in the weekend into early next week, that's a good indication the humidity level is going to start to surge all over again as well. So precipitation chances fairly high this afternoon, mostly dry for tomorrow, and then they ramp up again on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday look mostly dry, and we do have another shot at a few showers rolling in on Wednesday. Now here's a look at the setup in the atmosphere. We've got the dry weather this morning, active weather building back to our west, some really heavy rain this morning in sections of Wisconsin and Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois. This is associated with the same upper level disturbance, which is going to be dropping through the region. As we head through the early to mid-afternoon, you can see here, this is as of 2 o'clock, we'll see some of those showers starting to develop with some pockets of moderate to heavy rainfall. They'll tend to fall apart pretty quickly late afternoon into the early evening hours, and then once again, most of our Saturday looking dry. That pesky low pressure center, though, with us all weekend long, and that's going to be the mechanism for bringing us into those uh, showers and thunder showers as we head through the day on Sunday. Lake Michigan, we're generally anticipating the green flags to be flying this morning, but be very very careful if you're heading to the lakeshore. Check the colors of the flags that are flying at the beaches and be aware of constantly changing conditions right near the lakeshore. And there you see the hot air building with highs near 90 degrees early next week. So Tom Hillen, how are drivers doing so far this morning? Right now things looking okay out there across area roadways as we kick off this final commute of the work week. Taking a look right now at all the freeways heading into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area. If you're getting ready to head out the door and make your drive into work right now, nothing's standing in your way of making it to your destination on time. We are crash free across the area freeways. Continued reminder of some ongoing construction that does tend to cause some slowdowns. This one primarily causing slowdowns along the eastbound lanes of I-196. Single lane closures in both directions, but eastbound, uh, the single lane closures start about the 28th Street Wilson Avenue area, uh, and that tends to cause a backup to about Chicago Drive pretty much every morning so far this week. Also keep in mind, closed is the eastbound curb lane of Burton. That is just east of US 131 all the way through Buchanan, and that is scheduled to run through the end of this month. I'll have another update for you in about 15. Teresa and Donovan.